Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel for this episode 5 on Silver Run with me, Farmer Murphy. Unfortunately, no Mikey today. He's tied up in real life, actually has been for a little while. So I've been kind of going it on my own, and it uh, sounded like he might be a little bit longer before he's freed up. So I decided I better put out an episode. So uh, sorry about that. Um, we're all looking forward to Mikey's return, I'm sure. As you can see in front of us, we have purchased a log trailer since you were last here. We were having issues with that one that I was pulling behind the pickup, the uh, gooseneck trailer, just with uh, logs on it was shuffling around. So uh, we invested in one we could pull behind the Mac. Um, so that's worked out much better. We still have a gooseneck trailer. I did make a swap though uh, for a smaller one but uh, we do still have one available in fact it's uh, sitting over there in the distance you can't quite see it but it's over there the other thing is i think since we were last together we have bought field 42 and this logging area 37 because we have cleared everything off of here if we run over here you'll see that everything on the other side of the stream here is pretty much bare. The plan is I'm going to put a track here and a bridge across uh, down in here someplace where it's flat so we can get over to that field and this is going to be where our farm shop is going to be and production area and animals and all that kind of good stuff and as promised we're kind of going to focus on that in this episode that's why I was working away to get the money up uh, we want to put a sheep pen in down in here someplace. Uh, so I think that'll be the first thing uh, I work on. Yeah, kind of right around in here is uh, where we're going to put our sheep pen. So um, I will do that off camera because I do have to do some uh, landscaping. I've done a couple tests. So uh, I will get that done and uh, I'll bring you back in when that's taken care of. Um, you will notice I do have the time set to times two. Uh, that's to make up for the fact that uh, I've been working on my own. My key hasn't been here. So uh, it kind of uh, makes up for that because you recall we were running on times five with both of us. So let me get that sheep pad in and we'll carry on from there. See you in a little bit. There we go. Our sheep pen is in. All in, it costs us $100,000 with landscaping and fencing because this is the fenceless one. Holds another 100 and 95 sheep. Um, this side here got a little bit away from me, got a little too steep. I should have done some more landscaping before I put the building in. But seeing as we uh, can't deliver our own here, I think it'll work fine. So we'll take it at that. Like I said, I did put my own fences in here if we go in construction mode. Um, now, oddly enough, we own the land all around the lake, but there's a little strip of land right around the lake we don't own, so I couldn't get the fence right down to the water, but I just disguised it with a few trees and shrubs, so I think it looks okay. Now, in real life, I don't know if you give sheep access to water like that. Uh, I know it wouldn't be a problem with cattle, but no experience whatsoever with sheep, but that's what we're going to do. Next, we need to... Um, get some hay off our field over there. That's why we bought it, so we can get um, hay to feed our sheep. I know we could uh, just do grass, but grass isn't worth nearly as much as hay, and we'll have more than we need. And eventually I want to plow that field out and prop... <laughs> I'll get it here yet. Plow that field out and plant proper grass. See, that wasn't that hard. Um, but for now, we'll just mow it and turn it into hay and bring some over for the sheep. But before we start all that, um, we need to make a delivery to the roller coaster. We have some planks and uh, wall prefab walls and so on to deliver. So I'll get set up for that and I'll bring you down for the delivery. So we'll see you then. Well, we're just coming in to make our first delivery, which is metal. Uh, I started with that because I want the forklift up at the sawmill. Right now the best price other than the train, Elm Creek, is here at the market. So we'll sell this here. 
And I probably have to undo the straps. Or is it this one up here I've got to go into? This one here. I'll do the straps back up. Now I already have the Mac sitting up at the sawmill, so I'm going to take this up there and we'll get some product loaded up for the roller coaster. See you there. Well, as you can see, we have a fair bit of material stacking up here at the sawmill. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to load up what we need of this material to complete the first stage of the roller coaster and uh, we'll see what's left and we'll make a decision at that point um, because we do want to make sure we've got room for more material to land here so let's get this loaded up first and then uh, we'll make a decision from there because I, I would like to get the um, um, sorry the boat going here pretty quick too that's what the sheep are for. We need them for the boat. So we need three of these wooden planks long. I'd like to get another forklift just to leave up here so we don't have to bring one back and forth. That would be handy. <laughs> I have a pretty long wish list in a pretty short bank account. I really need to upgrade our skid steer too. Um, that Massey is nice and cheap, but <laughs> you get what you pay for in certain uh, respects. It has no brakes. <laughs> and boy, is it a nuisance uh, now that I'm working on that hillside. So there's our wooden planks long. Now we need wood beams. Actually, let's take the planks. I believe that's these because they're kind of in the way. Oh. Yeah, those are planks and I think these are wood beams. Yeah, so we need uh, how many planks? We need actually five of these planks, so that'll we'll get them out of the road. Oh, 
once we know we have the uh, both the roller coaster and the ship well in hand th then we can start taking some of these planks and that to the other productions have to push in it a little bit because our forklift was hitting the trailer. I am considering uh, borrowing some money because I like I said I would like to get the boat production and we also need the floor or the yeah the floor tile factory going too because we need floor tires tiles for this first stage and rather than wait uh, for me to log all that money, I might borrow it and then uh, just log to pay it back just so we can get that rolling. Well, you know what? I'll carry on loading here. I don't want to use up all my time doing this because uh, I do want to get some uh, some grass work done on this episode as well. And we need to buy that equipment. So this is just going to be more of the same of this. So I'll get it loaded up and I'll bring you back in when it's uh, done. See you in a little bit. Well there, that's everything loaded that the roller coaster needs for this first stage. So uh, let's get that delivered. I'll see you at the roller coaster. Well, here we are down at the roller coaster. Now I think we can deliver this. Let's take the straps off uh, like a regular cell point, and I don't have to do it by hand. The thing is, Mikey's not here, but don't tell him. You'd be very disappointed. There we go. And we're getting paid for it, which we can definitely use. All right. So well, that's not bad at all. So that sh should be everything. But, oh, no, we need to deliver our uh, staircase railing I forgot about that well we'll use the other truck for that I'll take this back to the other side and park it for now uh, we didn't need any of the prefab walls this time although I'm pretty sure that they were for the roller coaster uh, but before I deliver them here uh, I'll confirm that we can deliver them early and get paid for them so uh, I'll do that. I'll just make doubly sure this is where they're for. I can't imagine they're used on the boat. We'll just park this here for now. Alright, well, I'll go back up and get our other truck and uh, get the staircase railing uh, loaded up. See you then. Well, here's our staircase railing to boat to go in and we have three more pallets of that sitting there at our shop too there we go so that's everything that we have uh, currently available delivered to the roller coaster we do need to get that uh, floor tile factory going because I don't think it'll start working until we have uh, all the materials delivered. So uh, that'll be our next priority. Uh, but I did promise that we we're going to do some haying. And so that's what we're going to get on next.
get the farming going because we do need the sheep going as well. So uh, let's head over to the store and spend some money. Now I, I had decided that, oh, we don't need a tractor, that we're going to go with all the mirror stuff. I've never really used it before. And I've already checked our, our um, Volvo will, will pull all this equipment. So we need a mower. Whoops. We need a wind rower. We need a tether because we're going to make hay. And, oh, baler, obviously. Baler. And last but not least, something to pick them up with. Maybe we'll stick with trailer board. Well, there went 200,000 in a hurry. But that's all the gear we need for mowing. And uh, I don't think there will really be any need for us to upgrade any of this. This will do um, for the long term. So let me grab our Volvo and uh, I'll make sure the field is clear. And we'll get started on the moon. Catch up with you in just a minute. Well, here we are. All set to do proper farming. Now you, as I found out, I don't have much experience with these pull-behind mowers, but um, maybe they all can do. But this one you can swing around so you can select where it runs. I've got it running at least for this initial round. So it's running pretty much right behind the tractor. I think it'll be work pretty good. So I would like to plow this out and turn it into a proper uh, grass field. I'm still just thinking using that grass. But I uh, do have plans to put, you know, turn some of it to silage in the future. Now this hillside here, I am caught logging it just for the money. Oh, stump there I missed, I see. But I am going to replant it as soon as I can afford to buy a machine to do that. We're going to replant the hillside community wouldn't be very happy if, with us if we came in clear cut clear cut the entire place even if it did uh, provide jobs and pump up the economy uh, as you can see it doesn't look like the yields going to be spectacular off of this I guess we call it meadow grass I suppose But it'll give us enough for our sheep for sure, with probably a little hay to sell left over. <laughs> I just realized we're doing this in December. I hadn't really paid attention to what month it is. So that's certainly probably not the, the done deal, but we don't have any snow on the ground. Seems like it's a nice day. I didn't check the temperature, so we've already started. We'll carry on. Sorry about that. I didn't. E I didn't even think about that to take a look. So we're doing December grass work.
Oh, maybe if we're on the west coast. That'd be all right. You will notice on the hillside, I tried to leave some of the smaller trees so when we plant the forest and it grows, there will still be some uh, diversity there. Um, we didn't have any opportunity to double chores up because we don't have a uh, front three-point link available on the Volvo. That's why I thought it was a good opportunity to use all the Vermeer stuff because our current tractor uh, uh, lends itself to that anyways. Like we couldn't windrow and bail at the same time, for example, or windrow and Ted. I have been using the Volvo to drag the logs down off the hill because I found that the uh, wheel loader didn't like going up that hill, so I've been skidding them out with the cables. Actually works pretty good. There is that, uh, what is it, fan felt skitter that has the cable system on it or the winch system on it as well. That would be nice to have for logging. It's got more horsepower because up, uh, even up some of these hills, the, uh, the Volvo doesn't exactly scamper up there. Well, being able to maneuver this around makes it pretty easy to use. We have got equipment laying all over, all over the place, all outdoors. As soon as we get the tiling factory in, I think that's what will my next big uh, lot of funds from logging will go to. Is we got to get a building in to put some of our equipment under under cover. Well. I will finish this up and uh, then we'll get on to windrowing so I'll catch up to you then. Well windrowing's next because the tether we have actually will pick up the windrow and leave it in a windrow and tether it. I really like that little tether and it's not very expensive. But it's great for doing uh, two jobs at once, so it's kind of my default go-to tether. You can run a front rake and then the tether on behind and it's uh, one pass hay. But like I said, not an option with our power unit we have, so... Oops. Well, might have to tidy that up a little bit. I've never really used any of the Vermeer stuff except for the self-propelled baler um, that I got once in a while on c contracts, but uh, so far I can I have to say it's pretty easy to use. I uh, like it. Oh shoot, I meant to get rid of that. Oh well, just ran right over, there was a stump there.
if I'm going to get all of this uh, grass work in this episode, it might end up being just a little bit longer episode. Because it took, I spent a little more time on the deliveries uh, than I really had intended to record. But it's been so long since an episode is out, maybe, hopefully you guys don't mind if it's a little bit longer. do plan on doing some uh, other arable type farming on here eventually but kind of got to get the uh, roller coaster and the boat manufacturing sorted out first and we can kind of invest in some of that equipment <laughs> and, and, a, and a yard <laughs> so not everything's sitting outside Lots of things to do yet here on Silver Run. One of my other goals is to, to get, if not all, most of all the other productions up and running that are available. Get this town really cooking. Oh, we're starting to lose the light too, I see. Well, I will carry on with this. Um, if there is enough daylight when I'm done, I'll bring you back and we'll start on the tedding. If I decide it's getting too dark for recording, um, then we'll just pick it up in the morning and carry on from there. So, we'll see you when it's time to do the tedding. Well, as you can see, I decided I had uh, enough daylight to at least get the tedding done. I think when we'll uh, leave the baling and the pickup for tomorrow in the proper daylight. Because by the time I get this done, it'll probably be fairly dark. So you can see this would work good with a, a front rake. Oh, missed a little bit there. You'd have hay in one pass that way and that's 
often what I do. Also, if you put the front lifter on the back of the Chrome Big M and then run this behind it, then you uh, one pass hay when you're mowing. So it works pretty good. I could have used a standard tether, and uh, but it's they're more money than this, so hmm, a little uneven there. It'll bail up just fine, though I'm sure. Oh, it might be that we're right on the edge of uh, the field there. I might bring the wind rower back over before we bail and, and wind roll that into the field a little bit and we'll be able to get it tetted properly. And, you know, I could have bought cheaper, older equipment, but investing in this now means we won't have to upgrade this little. This will do us. Should be no reason to upgrade it. I suppose the only thing we might want to consider in the future is uh, using that Vermeer self-propelled baler. Because it's uh, kind of a cool piece of equipment, too. Yes, sir, the shadows are starting to get long. I'm sure it will definitely uh, be dark by the time I get this done. Anyways, I'll leave you there, and uh, I'll get this done this evening, and I'll bring you back in tomorrow morning when it's light, and we'll do the bailing and the pickup. So we'll see you tomorrow. Well, good morning, guys. As you can see, it's the next morning. We're set up here with our baler. I have our help window open because I want to make sure that we have the bales set to the largest size because we're not wrapping them, so we have no restriction there. Um, you'll notice the money has gone up a little bit. That is because uh, at dusk I did a little logging um, to set us up for the next episode so that we can buy the... Uh, flooring production and get the floor tiles which is the last thing we need for the roller coaster it's still a little dark I think I'll throw some lights on here now I'm not going to show a ton of this bailing I don't think because we're already uh, a little long but uh, we'll do a round or so Now at this point, I think I'm just going to leave this field as it is. Um, we are uh, certainly going to turn it into a proper grass field. I'm going to plow out up into the hillside a little bit where it's not too steep. And uh, we have precision farming on. And that's the biggest reason I'm just not going to do anything with it. We will, but it's just not a priority. I think we'll just get the same, whatever we get this yield will be the same every time and until we do plow it out, lime it, fertilize it, all that good stuff. 
I just don't want to invest in all that equipment right now. But we will. Just a matter of time. Curious to see what we'll get off you here. These are pretty good, what, 9,000 liter bales. So they're pretty good sized bales. Now, I'm, I did say that we probably wouldn't upgrade our hang equipment. And uh, at the time, I meant it. But then I got thinking, um, if we turn any of the hillsides into grass um, in the future, because I'm hoping to put a BGA in and some cows in, um, <laughs> we may want square bales so we're not chasing them all over the map. Or I guess we could get that impressed baler, uh, baler wrapper that has a bale turner on it. Let's see how it did there. Oh, almost got all of it. It does seem to have a pretty wide pickup though. Yeah, so at some point we may want to look at doing square bales. The only problem with that impress one, I like it. Uh, that the modded one that has the uh, uh, bale turner on it, but you can only do the small bales. That's the only downside. So, but nothing we need to worry about. That's a, a future, another future problem. This baler seems to work pretty good. Does seem to have a pretty nice pickup on it. Oh, excuse me, guys. There's the phone. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, guys, welcome back. <laughs> Um, in true Murphy fashion, uh, when I left you and said there was a phone call, that was actually part of the game. Uh, and then I just went just a moment ago and deleted the rest of that recording. Could not believe I did that. Anyways, the phone call I got uh, that you never heard the result of was actually from the truck driver uh, who was delivering our sheep. Because uh, there's no animal dealer here, we had to bring our sheep in from... Elm Creek and so I ordered him in and a trucker was bringing him in and he had called me to let me know that uh, he would park the his rig up at the shop and that he was going to go and have breakfast. If I hadn't deleted that recording you would have got that while I was bailing. <laughs> ah, anyways, it is what it is because uh, I'd also done a game save in the meantime so there was no going back. So here I am I'm just picking up my last two bales and now I'm going to tell you, I've heard from the truck driver again, and uh, he said uh, to go ahead and unload those sheep ourselves because uh, he's found the locals to be quite friendly, and he's going to be a little bit uh, longer yet. And uh, I assume it's the pretty waitresses down at the cafe that he's found friendly, <laughs> but I didn't inquire. <laughs> Anyways... Uh, Back on track here. So uh, we got 12 bales. Uh, so that's just over 100,000 liters. Now I don't think we'll get another cut off of here till April because we do have precision farming and seasons on. So right now I'm not going to sell these off. I sh it should be more enough to keep our sheep going. But I'll hang on to them just to be sure. Like I said, I do only have 50 sheep because that's the maximum they can get in the truck right now. It is my intention to fill the pen up with adult sheep. I'm not here to raise sheep. I'm here to get wool. But uh, So we'll start off with 50 for now. Now I think I should get that this same yield off that field uh, 
every time without doing anything to it and it will be interesting once I get it all prepped for precision farming to see what the effect is but that's for us to find out in the future now take a look at this roller coaster is it in my imagination or has there actually been some work going on here I wish that I'd taken a screenshot so I could compare but boy to me it looks like there's been some activity I didn't think there would be till we delivered those uh, last floor tiles but that's why I did that little bit of logging so that we can uh, start off with that next episode because it only needs 200 liters so we just have to wait for the first delivery there's our rig with the sheep you know what and I think we will park this up and do the sheep next just because uh, the delivery point is kind of where I want to put the bales and that's a pretty nice rig pretty trusting fellow or he must find the locals really really friendly of course then you know I do let Mikey drive everything on the on the farm and he crashed into me the very first day so yes sir this is pretty nice Oh, I couldn't believe I deleted that recording. I just wanted to get rid of. I had a full start there, and I mustn't have uh, mustn't hit the record button because I deleted uh, the one. I deleted was my <laughs> bailing one. Okay, so let's get these unloaded. Oops! I obviously did something wrong there. Oh, I'm not actually on the right trigger fully, I guess. This one sec here. Didn't come up with the option to move him to the husbandry. There we go. That's the proper. Oh, we want all of them. Thank you. There we go. Well, that was a bit more of an ordeal than I had planned on, but we have our sheep. Well, I'm going to get this parked up, and I'll bring our hay down, and we'll get them fed. So I'll catch up with you in just a minute. Well, there. Now the, he can head back to Elm Creek whenever he's ready. And I do have stuff all over the place. I do need to get a building. And you know, I was thinking... I don't think there's a spinnery on here. So I think we need to put a spinnery in. Man, that is just more bad news for yonder trees. The need for money never ceases, it seems like. Now, now that we have those delivered... Actually, you know what? I think I might change... I was going to unload them right here, but I think I'm going to back them in here a little bit. Because we probably will get more sheep delivered at some point. We don't need these to be in the way. It's just it was nice and flat down here, so I thought it would be a good place for it. Yeah, right about there. Should work. Should still be able to unload if we need to. Now I brought a wheel loader over so we can throw some hay in here for these guys. And that'll be the last step.
Well, there we go. Sheep are in, sheep are fed. Water should be automatic. Actually, I forgot there's this little storage area here. So uh, off camera, I'll fill this up and whatever bales I can put in here, I'll maybe stick in here so they're undercover. But that, I think, we'll call an episode. I know it's going to be a little bit long, but hopefully you'll indulge, indulge me on that. We did accomplish what we wanted to. We got our sheep pen in, our sheep are in. We did some farming. Certainly going to be more farming in our future, including arable farming. And like I think I mentioned, I want to get cows in. BGA, lots of big plans. Like I say, all bad news for yonder trees. So we'll pick it up from here next episode. Uh, and like I mentioned previously, we'll be getting on the uh, flooring factory. Um, I don't think Mikey will be able to join us. Uh, if he can, that'll be fantastic. But until he can, we'll just carry on. Anyways, if you're still with me, really want to thank you for watching. Really do appreciate it. If you found this entertaining or informative in any way, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to see when other content like this lands, hit that old notification bell. But for this episode, this is Farmer Murphy signing off. Till next time.